everything you're doing on FIFA 23 this year, put it in a little ball and throw it out the window. I'm going to tell you the five things that you're doing wrong and how you can change your game and get to that next level just as we get into towards the point where it's going to go mad. So, listen carefully here. Number one, adapting tactics. You will see all the tactics in the world. I set off with a mission this year to make sure I get a tactic for everybody. Whether you like to play possession, wide play, whatever you like to do, I set out of a tactic and shape to get everybody away to play the FIFA this year. But what people need to know, you can adapt these tactics. When you see a tactic, I play in a way where I like to get wide, but not too wide. I don't want to go to the point where I'm flying down the wings with skills and stuff, but a lot of people do. If you know you need to play isolated football where you want to get one-on-one, -on -one, when you're attacking, look at the shape given, make it wider. Understand why you're using the tactics. That's everyone's biggest mistake. They use a the tactic and go, it's not working. Oh, this is shit, blah, blah, blah. You're not, you're not listening. You're not really using the tactic and the base of it and adapting it for you. Everyone's different this year and that's the big problem. You need to make sure that you know how you play. Otherwise, these tactics, they're pointless. So make sure you're looking at how you play. If you want to get one-on-one -on -one with players, make the tactic wide. Get as wide as possible. Get in. Bing, bang, it's all done. Done like that. So make sure that is the first thing you do. Understand your play. Understand how you can adapt them formations. And if you are struggling, comment on videos. I'm more than happy to explain to anybody how you can adapt it. If you know you play possession football, you need to narrow it off. You need to make sure people aren't running in behind constantly and you're using the LB and RB to pull players around, make them come short, make them go long. Or if you obviously PS, you're L1, R1. I'll teach you all these things and I'm happy to show all these things to people. But just saying a tactic doesn't work, chances are you don't know how you work yet. So that's the main problem there. Number two, it is attacking without a purpose. You don't know how you're attacking. What is your style? What are you doing? And it does lead on kind of from number one, but you need to make sure that when you're attacking, every move you do is making the defender do something different. You don't want to be reacting to whatever the defender's doing. You're already going to be stuck. You want to wait. You want to drag them away from players. You want to make sure that they haven't got a crowd of players because then everyone's going to go, everyone's just camped in. No, you have to make sure that you take them to areas. So whether that's you pass, you go backwards, you go out wide and then go down the line. Instead of just going fire down the line, fire down the line or trying to throw balls over the top. That's pointless. <laughs> Fuck all that. Throw it all out the window. It's not worth it and it's not going to work. And if you haven't learned that by this point at FIFA, I really worry for you. You need to make sure that you're looking at the game and you're going, what are they doing? If they've got a narrow shape, pause the game. Make your shape wider. Stretch them. Make them do what you want them to do. And you're going to understand that once you start attacking, you need space. You need to make sure that you've got that space in behind. So that means you need to keep passing, pass, pass, attack with a plan. If you know, trigger the run, go back. That is going to make them come forward. That running behind, LBY, it is that easy. I promise you it will be that easy. Just make sure that you think everything through. Make sure you have different styles. Don't have a pattern where players play me all the time and they run at me down the line and... I know they're going to wait, 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 they're going to cut back or they're going to try to walk towards that byline. Patterns all the time. Start doing a move and go back. That will make me think, okay, he's going to go back. Next time, start going back, fake and go. Now you've done both options. Now it's your call. They're expecting both, which means they're going to wait to see what you do. You now have the advantage. Think it through. I promise you, <laughs> all these things are so basic and so simple. Number three, defending but using the press as you want to use it. So, RB, R1. It's called Ratty, whatever you want to do. It's in FIFA for a reason. Make sure when you're holding R1, RB, you make the defender come forward, and then you're making sure that whilst he's pressing, you're moving someone else to cut off a passing lane before you switch to that one as well. Don't, there's no point both of you flying forward, because now you're just leaving space in behind, and then you're going to cry that, oh no, look at this, oh, I've got space in behind. It's your fault. You need to accept these things are your fault and you can change them. So pull someone forward as that guy goes forward. Let him press, cut off the next passing lane, then switch and you will nick the ball. I promise you, these things are just going to work just like that. People don't want to accept it. And if you're still at the point where you can't accept that it's your fault and you have the audacity to still get triggered by this game, you kind of just got to look in the mirror at this point. But I promise you, any of these five things, one of them will be you and it will change your game completely as well. Takes me on to number four. This one's a strange one. So this one's kind of 
leading on from all the things I've said, but passing patterns. You need to make sure your passing patterns are not just easily read. Don't just go, oh, LBY, as I said before, or I just go bamming down the line and hope I get in. No, you can control how that they are defending you just by your passing patterns. If you like to move the ball in midfield, and these are the things I say in tactics all the time, creating triangles. That is the most broken thing this FIFA. People cannot defend diagonal passes on this game. You create so many passes that are just diagonal, five through lines, because as soon as you've got a diagonal line, most people defend with a flat line. If you've got a man here and you've got a man here diagonally, you break that line, done. It is so simple. Whether it's real life, football or the FIFA, they're the one things I do relate together. You can use triangle passing to break lines. And breaking lines is how you're going to score goals. All comes together in one. Don't have to listen to me, but I promise you it's just that easy. And you need to do all the stuff. As I said at the start of the video, everything you do now, just put it all on the ball, throw it out the window. Because whether we stay with FIFA, EA Club, whatever it's going to be called as well, these are still going to be the things that are going to be related to you. They're going to be the same problems. Just because it's a new game, don't mean it's all going away. So make sure. Just use your time. Just There's no point firing passes forward and then getting frustrated at the game and going, oh, fucking hell, this game's shit, blah, blah. I mean, the game is a bit shit. We're honest, it is a bit weird, but you can change it. You can adapt it. You can make sure that you are the one in control. And that means taking your time with passes. You see me with all the time. If you see any of my clips, I'll go into midfield. I'll go wide and come back into midfield. Start going the other way because then he starts to shift. When you see the defender is moving a player that you know he doesn't want. So as soon as he hits a centre back or a centre mid and moves him out of position. There's your line breaking pass. Fire it in. Even if you come back, you've got him panicking. You've got him in a position he don't want to be. And that's the main thing here. You can't have anybody... And I mean anyone, when you're defending, out of position. Because if somebody who has had half a sense, who's listened to any of these five tried tips, they're going to beat you. They're going to get in behind and they're going to find a way to do it. That takes me to number five, when you are in behind. Why people at this point of FIFA still don't know how to use time finishing and they use the same old excuse. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you've seen I did a video on this. It is no excuse. You cannot have the excuse now of saying... Oh, well, I don't know how to do it. Now, fuck that. Take it. Forget it. No, 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 no. It's not that. You need to make sure that you have the trainer on. You turn it to show. Make sure you head over to trainer. Turn time finishing on. And I promise you, just start trying it. Go in a squad battles game. Wherever you go in, you will realize how much easier it is than you think it is. And people go, you don't need it. You don't this and that. Okay, you don't need it. You may not need it to win. But if you've got that, you're adding extra shot power and extra accuracy to all the shots you take. Why don't you need that? Why is that not going to be helpful? It's going to be more helpful than not having it in the locker. So take it if you want. Don't. I don't care. The less of you that know, the more wins I get. I, I don't mind. It's actually fine with me. And another one is the low power shot. It's the top of a button. Why are people not picking up on metas? This is the thing. You see videos all the time and you'll watch videos, but you're not picking up on what the patterns are. There are so many metas in the game, whether it's reverse flip flap, whether it's ball rolling or step overs and old FIFA's it will step over and exit into your inside or whatever way you want to do it. These metas are there for a reason. They're put in the game, abuse them because everyone else is. So you can either be a winner or you can try play clean and oh, I'm not a rat. Well, you're losing, you're crying. So I'd rather join and win, laugh, feel a little bit scummy, but I'm laughing at everyone else's pain and it's not my pain anymore. So... I'm happy with it, but it's on you. But if you can't use time finishing, check out one of my shorts. I've got a little tip on there. I'll put the video in here as well. Make sure that you please just go look at it. I promise you, it will take you no more than five games and you will have it down. You'll have it timed down to perfection. You'll start scoring goals. You'll love me. I'll be happy for you. And that's all I can say. So make sure you drop a like, comment on here if any of these relate to you or if you have anything else you think I've missed, I'm happy to do another video on one of these. Go for anything. And when it comes to tactics, I'm happy. If you post some of the tactics in here you want to see, I'll find a tactic for you. My mission from this FIFA to next FIFA is going to be finding somebody a tactic as soon as possible that they can use and they're happy with. And I promise you I will do that. So as I said, make sure you drop a like, comment anything on here as well. And just make sure, please make sure you subscribe. 
So many more things are coming soon. Tips, tricks, tactics, whatever you want, it's all coming. Let me know what you need and I'm here for you. Thank you very much.